I spent seven days advertising on Etsy with a budget of 20 US dollars per day. But this time I tweaked it and changed it so that instead of advertising one of my product listings, I was now advertising 15. Curious to see how it compares to last week's Etsy ads experiment? Well then be sure to keep watching as I document it over a seven day period. Hi, I'm Alicia and I'm here to help you build an online income selling digital products on Etsy. Now, if you caught last week's video, you'll know that I started an Etsy ads experiment where I advertised one of my product listings for a US budget of $20 per day. Now, this week, I changed it up a little bit. Now, if you haven't watched that video, then I highly do recommend you going back and watching it as it gives a little bit of a backstory and context to this video that I'm sharing with you today. I will leave a link to that video just up here in the info card so you can go and check it and watch it if you haven't already. And also I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. So as I did last week, I'll again be documenting the next seven days worth of stats from my Etsy ads. I'll be checking in to see my ad views, the clicks, the orders from those clicks, the total revenue per day, and then how much of the budget was spent. But this time, instead of it being that one product, it's going to be 15 of my best selling products from my Etsy shop. Okay, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump on into my computer where I will show you the next seven days worth of stats. Okay, so I just finished up my very first seven day experiment where I was advertising one listing per day with a US budget of $20 per day. Now we're going into a new seven day experiment. So it's time to change this up a bit. Time to see what we can do and what tweaks we can make to see if we can make even more revenue, more sales by you know changing up how we're actually advertising. So what I want to do is for the next seven days, I do want to keep our $20 budget per day, but instead of advertising one listing, I want to change this up to be advertising 15 listings. So we want to come down here to not manage your budget, but we want to go to manage advertised listings. So let's click on that. As you can see here, if I just scroll down currently, Oops, just this one here. So this is the only product we have currently listed with our Etsy ads. I wanna change it to so that we've got about 15 of them. And I wanna try and use some of my most popular products because I have been proven to sell them in the past. So I know that the Etsy ads should work. So I'm going to click this one here. So a roadmap lead magnet template. Okay, so let's check, see, whoops, see how many we've got. We wanna go update, let's just see how many that is. So 13, so we need another two. So let's go back. I want to see what else I've got here. Okay, so I'm going to go update and now that should take us up to 15. Fantastic, so we've got advertising 15 listings a day with a budget of 20 US dollars a day. So now if we go to here, let's just go to today and see what happens. Yep. Now we're starting from scratch. I know it says that we've had 162 ad views, but that would have been from the previous experiment that we were doing. So we've reset. So now if we scroll down, it's going to obviously say that we've spent the zero dollars in ads. And then here, previously we had the one listing, but now we've got all our listings. So we're going to be able to see all the stats for each individual ad that we have listed. And then obviously right at the top here is gonna just be the accumulation of all those stats. So I'll be checking in tomorrow to see how this ad has been going for the past 24 hours. And we will check in every day for the next seven days. Okay, so we are checking in for day one of our brand new Etsy ads experiment. It's a little bit earlier this evening. I'm checking in on Tuesday the 19th of January at around 7.30 in the evening. Now, as you're aware, in the last experiment, I was only doing the one product listing in my Etsy ads experiment, but now we've jumped that up to 15. So you're gonna see that up here, still with the $20 budget per day. Okay, let's dive on into these stats. So you just wanna scroll down 
and we want to check out the past 24 hours stats so let's go to yesterday okay so that's quite interesting we've had our ad views have actually jumped up at quite considerably in comparison to our previous experiment. I think I was averaging around 2,000 ad views per day and already just in our first day it's jumped up to 4,000 ad views so 4,032. We've had 67 ad clicks which is quite impressive and we've had one order from our ad and the revenue here $29.21. So let's scroll on down and see how much of the budget it used up. Okay, there we go. So it's saying here that we spent 20 US dollars on ads, which is our entire budget for the day. If you remember back in the early days of our last experiment, sometimes we weren't even getting to US $10 per day. So you can see that just by having this 15, these 15 listings, we've chewed up our budget um, straight you know, straight off the bat. Okay, let's scroll on down to check out our stats in more detail. Here, this is um, the item that I had made the sale on. So we had for this item 974 ad views, 14 clicks, one order, and our revenue was 29 and 21 cents. And it used only $4.59 of my budget. So as we go down, we're gonna see stats on all our other products. And obviously they're gonna have the budget that's been used, but no sales. So let's go ahead and check that out. So here we've got 839 ad views, 25 clicks, and it used up 654 of the budget. I've actually advertised this product before and I found that it chewed up my budget really fast. I'm going to keep a keen eye on this product listing. Now for this experiment, I'm not going to be making too many changes because I would like to see what actually happens. But for future reference, I would actually be taking this off. As you can see, it's a high amount of my budget that's being spent without the return on revenue. So yeah, you just want to keep note on, you know, what items are eating up your budget and which items are getting that return on investment. So let's scroll down. So here, this digital Etsy planner, 765 views, seven ad clicks and zero, obviously zero sales there. And it used up $1.87 of my budget. And then it looks like we've had 212 here, but no ad ad clicks which is really interesting because this is one of my most popular products and usually does quite well as you know this was the product that we advertised last week so it's very interesting to see that there were absolutely no ad clicks for this product you get ebbs and flows with your products you know what might be popular last month might not be popular at the moment so just keep that in mind this ebook template 209 views four clicks 207 views two clicks 194 and four clicks, 179, four clicks, and so on and so forth. And it's about one, you know, when they're clicking, it's about, you know, one to two dollars of my budget being used. As you can see, these ones here have had no clicks and therefore none of the budget has been used up. Okay, so when you're looking at your ads, the top three to four product listings are the ones you want to keep an eye on. Okay, so that is our first day. We'll be checking in again tomorrow to see what else we can discover. Good evening, friends. It's Wednesday, the 20th of January, and it's just past 8.20 in the evening. We're checking in for day two of our Etsy ads experiment. Just like yesterday, we're gonna leave it at the 15 listings with a 20 US dollars per day. Now let's go ahead and dive into the stats. So we just wanna change this date range to be yesterday so we get a 24 hour picture of what's happened. Okay, so we've got 2,433 ad views. We've had 66 ad clicks and one order from those ad clicks. So the revenue here is US $14.14. .14. So it's a bit of a drop from yesterday, um, the order value, but we've also had a drop in our ad views. I believe yesterday was around 4,000 ad views. So it's you know just over half of what we had yesterday. Now let's go down and check out some more detailed stats. So it's saying here that I spent 1966 on my ads yesterday. So just under that 20 US dollar budget. Now let's keep going and check out what we made our money on here. 
up the top here we've had 639 ad views for this product 13 clicks on this one but unfortunately no orders so we spent $3.76 on that one I actually had a sale for this item right here so that was 522 ad views I had 16 clicks and one order so I had $14.14 revenue with a US budget spent of $4.62 so we're not going to have any other orders come through I'll just scroll through these Etsy listings for you rather than go through each one um, just so you can get an overview uh, rather than me going through each one so I'll just keep scrolling down so you can see as we get further down um, you know those ad views become less and less per, per product so you can just get a snapshot of what um, Etsy ads are performing the best so you can see here, this one here, which was previously my best-selling product has dropped quite considerably in those views. So that's really quite interesting. Perhaps it's one of those products that had its time in the spotlight and now is just, you know, taking a back seat for some other products to shine. So just keep scrolling down. Okay, so there you go. So that is an overview of my current ads and the listing details per, per item. Let's just go back up again so you can have another look at those ad stats from yesterday. So there we go. So that is the check-in for day two and I'll be back in again for day three's check-in. Good evening friends, it's day three of our Etsy ads experiment. This is the experiment where we're doing 15 listings per day at a US budget of $20 per day. Now today is Thursday the 21st of January and it's quarter past nine in the evening. Now let's go ahead down to your ad stats for and let's again change this to yesterday to get a 24 hour picture. Okay, so as you can see here, we've had 3,544 ad views. We've had 71 ad clicks, but unfortunately no orders from these ads, which is a bit of a bummer. The revenue from the ads is obviously $0. Now let's scroll down. So it's saying you spent US 1972 in the last 30 days. So again, it's just giving you the reminder that your budget is only used when a buyer clicks on one of your ads. Now let's go ahead and check out the breakdown of each listing just to see how much of the budget was spent per listing. So um, we've got that 30 Instagram engagement post templates. Again, one of my highest budget spenders of all of my listings, which doesn't always give me the best return. If I was not doing this Etsy ads experiment, the first thing I would be doing would be turning this ad off because I'm spending up my budget and I'm not getting the return on that budget. So this 1332 is so high. This could be used on other Etsy listings that could give me a much better return for my spend. Okay, so as we scroll down, um, the service and pricing portfolio plus Instagram, so this is a bundle. So we had 438, with five clicks here. Um, Again, so we've got the surface and pricing portfolio templates, um, 279 views, five clicks, and I'll just keep scrolling down so you can just check out the rest of my listings and their stats. So as we scroll down further and further, so you can see these ad clicks are getting less and less. You know, that could be because one of those product listings is just sucking up all of the budget and these, you know, listings don't even have an opportunity to shine. So keep scrolling down, scrolling down, and that's the last listing that we've got. So let's just scroll back up. So if you're seeing something like this, where you know you're getting 49 clicks and zero orders, you know you just want to take note of that. There's something in this that is either attracting the person to click on it, but there's something that's you know, not converting them. This is all important information that you want to look into. Okay, let's just head on back up so you can just get another snapshot of those ad stats. And I will catch you again tomorrow evening. Good evening, friends. So it's Friday, the 22nd of January. 
It's just past eight o'clock in the evening and we're checking in for day four of our Etsy ads experiment. So for this Etsy ads experiment, we're doing those 15 listings per day at a US budget of $20 a day. So we're going to leave that as is. Now let's head on down here to where it says your ad stats for and we want to change this to yesterday to get 24 hour period. Okay, so we've got our ad views are at 3,349. We've had 67 ad clicks from those views. And from those ad clicks, we've had two orders resulting in $31.04 US cents. Now let's go ahead and check out how much of the budget was spent. So it's saying here that we spent $19.83 of our $20 budget. Okay, now let's go ahead and check out a little bit more detail from the actual listings themselves. Okay, so again, just like yesterday, this 30 Instagram engagement post templates are sucking up quite a lot of my budget, but not resulting in sales. I will be turning this one off for sure. Okay, let's head on down and check out where those orders came from. So we had one sale of this editable lead magnet camera template. And for that one, we had 436 views, eight clicks and one order. And the budget was quite low, so $2.89 and then resulting in that $14.22. Now let's head on down and see where that other order came from. Okay, and here we've got the service and pricing portfolio guide template. And that had 305 views with five clicks and one order. So that was even um, less than the revenue for the other one that we had here. So um, this one here was $2.89. And this one was $1.40, so, and it was a higher revenue product. Okay, so let's just scroll on down just to glance over the other ads that we had running. And do we get down to the bottom? So you can see this one here didn't even have any clicks at all. And this one as well, zero clicks on that one resulting in zero dollars of the budget being spent. Okay, so there is the overview of today's stats. So like I mentioned, day four stats, and I will be checking in with you again tomorrow to check out how our ads are performing. Good evening, everybody. It's currently Saturday, the 23rd of January. It's just past 8.30 in the evening. Now we are doing a check-in for day five of our Etsy ads experiment. So as per every other day, we've got 15 listings per day with a US budget of $20 per day. Now let's go ahead and change these stats to show yesterday to get a 24 hour snapshot. Okay, so we had quite the jump from yesterday. We've had 3,292 ad views. We've had 62 ad clicks from those ad views and we've actually had four orders from our ads, which is fantastic. So our revenue from our ads was US $71.64. So I'm quite happy with this outcome. I finally feel like we've made some progress with these adverts. So I guess if you're counting last week's experiment, we're like day 12 into it. And now is the time I'm finally starting to see something come through with these ads. So that's great. Hopefully it continues. Let's go ahead down and check how much of the budget we spent. So as predicted from these results, we've spent the whole 20 US dollar budget, which is great. So let's head on down and see where these orders come from. Okay, so we had one order from our 30 Instagram engagement post templates. We had 719 ad views. 29 clicks and one order. So it spent $8.17 of the budget and we got revenue $14.26 back. Let's head on down. So we've got no orders from this one, yet we had 512 ad views and six clicks. We spent $1.93 of our budget. Here we had 371, three clicks and no orders, but 72 cents of our budget, which is quite low. Okay, this one's looking really good, isn't it? So we had service and pricing portfolio template. This ad here had 333 views, three clicks and one order. Now it only spent 131 of our budget, but it gave me $21.07 in return, which is really, really good. Those are the kind of numbers you wanna be getting. So let's just keep scrolling. So here we had service and pricing portfolio template. 
similar to the one that we were just overviewing. Again, 216 of those ad views, three clicks, one order, and it used only 87 cents of my budget with a return of $16.86. That is so cool. Okay, let's head on down. And the last order came from this one here, 139 ad clicks, four, sorry, 139 views, four ad clicks and one order. And then we used up $1.87 of the budget to get a return of 1945. So that is really, really cool. Um, and just like um, the rest of the five days that we were doing this experiment, this 30 Instagram engagement post templates is just sucking up this budget. It is always my biggest budget spender, but the return is just not really worth it. So um, yes, definitely be looking at this when this um, Etsy ad experiment ends. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out one more time our ad stats for the day and I will catch you same time same place tomorrow good evening friends it's Sunday the 24th of January it's just past nine o'clock in the evening and I'm just checking in for my Etsy ads experiment so we're still doing those 15 listings per day with a US budget of $20 per day. Let's go ahead and change these ad stats to represent the past 24 hours. So let's go to yesterday. Okay, so that's quite interesting. We've had um, ad views at 2,956. Our ad clicks were 63. Our orders from our ads are zero and revenue from our ads was zero dollars. Now I have had orders come through um, I didn't check to see whether or not they had come through from the ads, um, but obviously they hadn't. So there we go. So still receiving orders, but just not from the ads. Now let's scroll on down and check out how much of the budget was spent. Okay, so it's saying that I've spent the full $20 budget for this day. Let's scroll down and check out some of the other stats for individual items. Again, we're seeing this one right at the top and it's using most of my budget. So we've had 855 ad views, 25 clicks and zero orders, but with a budget of $6.46 spent. A little bit disappointing when you're using that much of the budget and not getting those orders. Okay, let's go on down and see what else we've got here. So the Instagram puzzle feed template, 664 ad views, 12 clicks and no orders. 352 of the budget was spent for that one. Now the service and pricing portfolio template, 319 views, seven clicks and $1.76. And I'll just continue going through. This one was a little bit higher. Let's go on down. This one was quite low. This one here didn't even have any clicks at all. So we've spent none of the budget on that one. We had seven clicks for this one, $3.58 and no orders. Only 64 cents was used here. And I'll just keep scrolling down. Here we go. So zero dollars was spent here and obviously no clicks there and only 34 views. Let's keep going down. So again, zero, zero here, 39 cents here, another zero. It's interesting to see this one um, not performing so well. At one stage in the middle of last year, I feel like this one was, I feel like this listing was doing very well. I was getting orders from this listing multiple times per day. So it's so funny how your product listings ebb and flow throughout the year. What might be popular now might not be popular in a couple of months time. So you just want to keep that in mind um, when you're selling on Etsy. Okay, so those are the stats again, the overview just for you to check in one last time and I will be back again tomorrow for the last day of the Etsy ads experiment. Good evening, it's Monday the 25th of January and it's 7.50 p.m. We are checking in for day seven so this is our final day of our Etsy ads experiment. So for this experiment we're still doing the 15 listings per day with a US budget of $20 per day. Now let's go ahead and check our stats. So let's change this to yesterday to get the 24 hour picture. Okay, so for the past 24 hours, we've had 2,700 ad views, we've had 64 ad clicks, one order from those ad clicks and the revenue was $16.99. Now let's go ahead and go down to check how much of the budget was spent. 
So it's saying here that we spent $19.67 for the past 24 hours. It says in the last 30 days here, but I'm pretty sure that that's a little bit of a glitch in the system because it is for the past 24 hours. Let's go ahead and scroll down to check out more detailed stats. So again, very consistent, at least it's that. <laughs> We've had 709 ad views, 31 clicks, and a US budget spent of nine dollars and two cents for this one advertiser listing so i'm actually quite glad that we're you know at the end of this etsy ads experiment so that i can finally turn this ad off let's scroll on down so we had 442 ad views for this one seven clicks uh two dollars ten spent on that one here we've got 429 views three clicks just over a dollar spent here we've got 336 four clicks just over a dollar and we'll just see if we can find the one that was sold okay so one of the um, Etsy shop planners the digital planners was sold so we had 104 views on that one six clicks and one order it spent two dollars 25 of the budget and $16.99 was the revenue. I'll just keep scrolling down so you can see an overview of the remaining advertised listings. So here you can see under a dollar for these, this one here, nothing was spent because there was no clicks. Again, very low budget spent. This one here, no clicks. Again, no clicks on these because you know, very low views on those. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll back up so we can have a look at the overview of today again. So there we go. So that's the overview for the very last day of our Etsy ads experiment. Okay, now for the fun part, let's have a look at our overview for the past seven days of our Etsy ads experiment. So to do that, all we wanna do is go here where it says your Etsy ad stats for, and I'm going to change this to custom. And I would like it to go from the 18th. So we want it from the 18th and we want it to the 24th. So let's go apply and let's see what our stats are. Okay, so for this seven day experiment, we had 22,300 views, 460 ad clicks, we had nine orders from our ads and the revenue from our ads was $163.02. Now let's head on down and see how much of the budget was spent. So you can see here that we spent $138.88 in the past seven days. It does say 30 days here, but it is for the past seven days. So we only really made just under $30 profit, US dollars profit. Now this outcome is not quite what I had expected. I usually like to see double of my ad spend in revenue. So we've got 138 here. I would have liked to have seen this um, revenue from ads to be upwards of $280. But if we have a look now at these Etsy ads breakdown, like I said for the individual ads, before we even look at what we're gonna see, I know that I'm gonna see that 30 Instagram engagement ads with a really high budget, but not quite the return. So let's go ahead and scroll down now and see these ads in more detail. And just like I had said, so this 30 Instagram engagement post templates, we had 6,367 ad views, 196 clicks, but only two orders. It sucked up $54.35 of my budget, and it only gave me a revenue of $28.40. So just by this Etsy ads experiment, we can see straight away, boom, you're gonna be taking this one off because it's not giving you the return. We noticed this every day when we were checking in, didn't we? You just wanna really keep a keen eye on your ads. If something's not performing, you wanna turn it off and um, let some of your other listings, you know, gain the momentum and give you a better return on your ad spend. Here, our second one, our, another Instagram template, had a budget of $14.16 and no revenue in return. Here we had our servicing and pricing portfolio template. We spent $13.80 on this one and we had a revenue of $50. So you can see that this is a lot better. These two we should be turning off and this one we should be keeping. And then again, just keeping an eye on it. Here we had a $5.38 budget spend with a $16.82 return. Here $7.89 with a $16.86 return. This was the product that we had advertised last week over the last seven days experiment. It's interesting that we only got one order from this ad. 
Here we spent $9.86 with a return of $14.22. Here we spent $4.27, no return on that one. Again here, $3.84 with a no return. Here we spent $8.77 with a return on $19.45. Here a spend of $6.23 with a return of $16.99. Here $3.72, no return on that one. Again, no return here or here and so on and so forth. So you can see here that my most popular uh, Etsy product listing with the most sales was a tie between the 30 Instagram engagement post template and this service and pricing portfolio template. But we can see, um, you know, the difference here and the difference here. So let's scroll back up and I'll just give you that overview again. Now, I hope that this was helpful for you. You know, just by having a look over what I've done in the past seven days, I hope you've managed to, you know, get some tips on how you would do your own Etsy ads. You know, take what I've done here and learn from it and then apply it in your own Etsy shop. The key here is to keep an eye on it. Check in every day, have a look, see what's doing well. And if something's not performing well, just turn that ad off okay okay so there we go friends there is the stats from my seven day etsy experiment so this is part two of my two-part experiment now were you surprised by these stats like i was it's very interesting to see what you can do to change up your etsy ads what you can tweak and try out and change what you can drop and what you can add to see what it can do to the overall revenue of your Etsy shop. Okay, so I really hope that you enjoyed this two-part Etsy ads experiment series. It's a little bit of a behind the scenes look of what I do for my own Etsy shop. You're getting real time look into what I'm doing, what's working, what's not working, how I'm changing and tweaking things to get more revenue from my shop. Now, if you did enjoy these videos, these experimental videos, I would really appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe as I'll be sharing more tips, tricks, and tutorials so that you can build a passive income online through digital products on Etsy. Okay, I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.